Hello everyone, Alex Soul Collector Jarzabinski here, and I'd like to share with you some tips, tricks, and general advice on how to get the most out of the BattleBard soundboard. These thoughts come not just from a designer's point of view, but from a GM who uses these tools at the table regularly. So let's dive into one of the iconic features of the soundboard, and that's the ability to display two playlists. The reason this was done wasn't just to give you access to more tracks, but to set up playlists for different purposes. For example, what I like to do is I set up the right-hand side playlist for low touch audio or tracks that will either cycle through on their own or play on a loop. On the left-hand side, I'll put my high touch tracks or those that I may need to play as the action happens. Case in point, for an upcoming combat scene with a mage in a forest, I set up a couple of looped forest soundscapes on the right hand side, putting some day and night tracks, letting me choose the right backdrop depending on when the party was going to meet their adversary. Now on the left hand side, I put some combat spell sound effects, which I could play as a BBG casts her spells to really impress on the players the terrible effects of her evocation magic. This is pretty easy to set up in any kind of a situation where you want to manage both prepped audio and audio that you're going to use on the fly. In another example, I had my PCs go to a new town and they were going to spend some coin. The only thing is I had no idea what kind of shops that they were going to go to. So what I did is I had my city soundscapes ready to go on the right hand playlist. And on the left, I had some NPC city voiceovers that corresponded to the various shops. With all these tracks kind of set up in this way, we were able to run a really fun, really immersive shopping slash city going experience. Here's a little taste of what that session sounded like. Well, greetings, sir. I can tell you have a keen eye for fine weaponry. These here are the finest weapons ever wrought by mortal. While on the topic of introducing new scenes to players, sometimes it's better to fade into a new backdrop instead of picking it up with a hard start. For instance, say that the party is exploring an underground complex and they start in the direction of a fire-filled chamber. Let me get this example set up for you guys. Okay, cool. So when you're done with your intro narration or you finish drawing that part of the map, gradually mix in the new backdrop element by sliding the volume bar for that new track. It may seem like a trivial exercise, but the gradual inclusion of this new environment helps to enforce the immersive experience, allowing your players to imagine coming closer to this new challenge. Since we've been talking a bit about soundscapes, let me share with you a little trick I actually stumbled on. When running soundscapes, I found that by layering similar tracks of the same album, each on a loop, I could make the backdrop somewhat dynamic, making repetitions on each less noticeable while having the added benefit of creating depth to my environment. So going back to my forest soundscapes, I'm going to use these two forest day tracks in my example. In order to add a bit of variation, I made sure to choose soundscapes with different run times. So this top one is at a minute one, this bottom one a minute 36. I'm also going to put the bottom one at about 50% volume to create that sense of depth. As both run on a loop, I'll have some noticeable elements in one track further back than the other, while having each track hit key sounds at different times. This helps me keep the backgrounds from getting stale when they're running on extended loops.
Hopefully this gave you some idea of how the soundboard can add to the experience of your games. BattleBards is a community-driven platform, both in terms of our audio and tools, so we want to learn from you. We want to see how you're using the soundboard to share your discoveries and adapt to better serve game masters. Please share your thoughts anywhere you want, on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, SoundCloud, YouTube. We're watching every channel we possibly can since we really want to get your feedback. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you at the game.